First Updates Now videos are brought to you by Stryker. Discover why so many FIRST alumni and mentors are putting Stryker first when it comes to their careers, internships, and co-ops. Visit careers.stryker.com forward slash first to learn more. Um, real quick, poll results before we get to uh, number four, and I'd like to check in with the poll results on each one of these. Uh, you guys voted out of the top five teams remaining that 973 would be the number five seed was the most common response. So let's find out who our fifth seed is going to be. All right. Uh, Justin's going to tell us about team is 1690. Who 0 for 1 in the chip for the chat. <laughs> that's, that's a rough start. Uh, from Hazafan, Israel, it's Orbit. Overall record of 18 and 0, undefeated winners of the ISR event number two. So at their only event, they captained the number one alliance, winning their uh, blue banner with 33-39 Bumblebee that we already talked about, and 56-54. Uh, uh, they were smooth and consistent. Uh, I love this robot. I can't wait to see them get better and better. If you have not checked out the robot release video, which they which they put out, um, I find myself so pausing and uh, trying to zoom in and see all the different features of the robot. They're they're a, ro they're a team that does not build. I wouldn't describe. I'm not sure anybody would describe them as simple robots. Um, they're always very uh, complex, but just so well engineered. Like I don't know if you remember 2016, they could drive under the. Um, drive on the low bar, but also kind of set up a little bit uh, to shoot in the high goal, and that's not that's not easy to do. Um, they do not build simple robots, but they pull off these really really complex uh, and well engineered robots year after year. One of my favorite teams, and just can't say enough about what they're able to do. So crazy good, and I think they are certainly you know people have been able to nitpick over a lot of the teams here so far. I'm not sure anybody could argue that 1690 does not belong in the top five. Yeah, I'm good. <clears throat> Watching this row. Oh, there they go. Right over. So good. Nice second robot. So yes. good. <laughs> it's crazy. It really is. It really is. So I'm going to give a few more seconds here for people to get in their last votes. No, we'll, of, we'll uh, just end it. I have a button I can press. <laughs> all right. Uh, all right. It's ended. <laughs> too late. You should have voted before. That's right. <laughs> what was that? What do they think about? Who was the number five? What did they say? They thought it was 973. It was be... Yep. Okay. 0 for 1. 0 and, for 1. <laughs> and now they think the number four seed will be... 1678. Oh, for two. <laughs> because in the fourth spot is actually team 973. From Atascadero, California, and Atascadero High School, it's the Greybots. They have an overall record of 16 and 2, and they were the winners of the Los Angeles North Regional. Uh, we last saw Greybots on the week one top 25, where they ranked uh, number two overall. They took the number one seed um, at the LA Regional. Um, with a 10 1 record, and they had a 2.36 ranking score average. They took the win in six matches with, um, as I mentioned then, um, an unpenalized high score of 302. Um, they are a tall bot with a quick intake and can score from all around the field at all sorts of angles, and they just do it so quickly and efficiently. Um, they have that kind of like a popcorn style hopper, which is pretty cool. The, um, you know, the drivers can easily be able to see what's in there. Uh, how many just an awesome uh, bot to watch play this game and just travel all over the field and being able to score um, so quickly and easily just from anywhere. So congratulations to nine about short lived um, 2020 season. Just a team. Yeah. I mean, we just, it's a broken record now, but just a team we, we just so could have wished, you know, to see over and over again, but um, number four here. Yeah. Top five. Looking good. Yeah, and I think a lot, a lot of people going, you know, back and forth if uh, 973 or 1678 should be above each other. Uh, and we had this discussion before. Um, both fantastic teams. I could see it going either way. Um, you know, I always find it interesting that, uh, you know, the, we're expectations. I think sometimes expectations clout people's judgment sometimes. Um, where they're like, oh, well, I expect this team to always be number one, and they yes. weren't quite number one, therefore that means they should be 24. Like, I, I don't quite understand that thinking sometimes out of it. Um, but, you know, 973, fantastic machine, great to see them continually just building these awesome robots out in California. Mm -hmm. Yep, for sure. All right, Ty, you want to end that? Uh, do you want to end the voting? We will end the voting. So, oh, hold on. Yeah. Did I uh -huh. even start? There we go. <laughs> There it is. All right. Chat went one for three. So, and our third spot, Christine's going to tell us about Team 1678. From Davis, California, with Davis Senior High School, it's Citro Circus with an overall record of 14 and 4. And they were the winners of the LA North Regional and took home the Great Professionalism Award and ate a ton of pappies before they didn't <laughs> get to compete at their other regional. So, one of our most jaw dropping reveal videos on Premier Might. 
premiere night this year definitely went to 1678 and just in general for FRC. Um, they came into week one looking really practiced and really ready to take this year by storm with an eight ball autonomous that they performed at competitions and a 10 ball autonomous that we saw in their own lab space. So I'm sure that they were getting ready to debut that at uh, the St. Louis Regional. Um, they were a huge contributor into their winning alliance of 973 and team number four, scoring the most autonomous balls this year. 17 balls in autonomous between that alliance, which is nuts. Yeah, we saw um, that in Clubs of the Week. Yeah, pretty sweet. Yeah, crazy. So their undefeated regional streak has extended to six seasons now, making this the third generation of students who have won every single regional and division that they've competed in as students on <laughs> Citrus, which is pretty amazing. So not an easy thing to do uh, with the likes of other California teams and South Champs teams staring you down from the other side of the field at each event that you go to, but Citrus steps up to the plate and performs every single year. So congrats to them on an amazing season so far. I love this team. Um, yeah. The more that I get to know them working through like the Compass Alliance and having some of their alumni come and mentor us, like Kelly, um, it's just amazing the like level of just amazingness that comes out of that team with their students. Like It's unreal to me. So Yeah, it's an easy to team to that, love too, yeah. Yeah, like they just they perform at another level. And I think that's true of like a lot of like California teams because a lot of the elite teams are coming from there um, and South Champs in general, like all of these Israel teams that were ranked really high this year. Like South Champs is definitely ramping up. Um, it would have been a really, really, really good South Champs this year, I think. So I don't know. Citrus um, had a really good season. And I, was I was disappointed to see that they didn't get to compete in St. Louis. I know. I was supposed to drive to St. Louis, and it actually, mm -hmm. on Thursday when it canceled, I was about an hour away from driving to St. Louis. Oh, uh, so I was, uh, yeah, very sad not to have an opportunity. I do want to give a big shout-out uh, to them, uh, just thanking them, because uh, the St. Louis thing was kind of the last-minute thing. I was planning on going to a film event, and then that got canceled, and I reached out to uh, Michael Corsetto, uh, who was awesome and, uh, and actually was going to help me uh, by bringing in a couple students to help us film in St. Louis. So uh, to, to those students, I don't know your names, uh, but really thank you so much for offering to do that because that's super – just super cool, and we were just like the goal was just to go there and just like crank out videos because we knew that the uh, suspension of the season was coming. Uh, so mm. big shout out to them. Sorry uh, that we didn't that I didn't get to share pappies with you, uh, but guys, love your love your body and a great season to you. Yeah, and shout out to Daniel Ostrom. I think he does a lot of the video stuff on Citrus, and I know that he was excited to do that for you. So. Congrats to them on a great season so far. It's time to majorly sell out. Let's do it, guys, with a huge Striker ad coming in. No, guys, Striker, uh, awesome company. If you had an opportunity, Striker, Striker, Striker. We'll just say it like 20 times, right? And then we get all of them done, and that's the way we go. But, uh, guys, uh, once again, lots of downtime. If you're looking for internships, co-ops, uh, careers, even if you're just starting, if you're starting to graduate college, or if you're looking for a great new career out there, there is one out there for you. Uh, currently, just in Kalamazoo itself, 52 jobs available, but they have careers all around the world. Uh, Striker, I, as mentioned before, Nick Jr. and I got the tour of their facility, and wow, what an incredible place. State-of-the-art technology, state-of-the-art equipment. They treat their employees like gold, and they will support you for being in first. So if you're interested in uh, learning more about how you can work for a company that truly says, hey, guys, you're in first. We love that. We want you to go to first competitions. We want you to mentor. We want you to volunteer, and we'll support you doing it as an employer. Go check out careers.strykr.com forward slash first. We're getting down to the nitty gritty. We have two oh, and one it. left. So, Justin, Sorry. do you want to? Oh, go ahead. No, I was going to say, our, our chat voted. They think uh, 140. All the drama is in the two spots. So, we asked mm. who they think was going to take first. And uh, I guess we'll find out, yeah. Yep, so in the number two spot, Dustin, why don't you tell us about Team 118? From League City, Texas, Clear Creek High School to the Robonauts. Over a record of 15-3, and three, they were the winners of the Plano District event. So at that event, they ranked third, and they were quickly scooped up, of course, by Team 148, scoring no less than 185 uh, throughout their matches. They completed all three stages two times, just uh, an incredible alliance watching 148-118. Um, do their thing. Uh, there was some debate in the fun chat and the uh, game day about kind of 118 versus 148 who was better. A lot were saying in the playoffs that 118 was a better bot, but uh, both look incredible. 118 just very quick. The Schumer power style is just ripped from their shooter. I think five in the air uh, out of 118 is commonplace. That's kind of one maybe plus they have over 148. But just an awesome robot from 118 for sure. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, yeah. So chat, so chat started a little bit rough, but they they uh, yeah, they yeah, circled, circled the circled the wagons and did pretty well. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, that leaves in the number one spot, team one forty eight. From Greenville, Texas, and Greenville High School, it's the Robo Wranglers, an overall record of 17 and 1. And they were the winners of the Plano District event in Texas. So the almost the hashtag almost all black everything 148 robot is your number one robot in FRC for uh, the 2020 season, as voted by you, the people. So a team who isn't afraid of a little bit of a risk, whose iteration outweighs that risk, uh, their swerve drive just dominates the field. Um, oh, so that's six teams. Yep. So no issues getting through the rendezvous point and just swerves right into position and delivers the power cells before you can even blink. Um, they also make receiving balls from the human player um, really easy with the way their robot is designed. Um, just another dominant, well-built, well-controlled machine from the Robo Wranglers. Um, a team that was headed super deep into the round robin, if not more, uh, to take it all this year. Um, congratulations to our number one ranked team, Team 148. And just watching, man, 148 and 118 compete together. Uh, was really just something special. Yeah, and I think as much as I love that they are all black, all black everything because black and gray are my favorite colors. I think that we need to start recognizing that they are so committed to just being competitive and being the yeah. most like high performing robot on the field at every single event that they go to. So props to them, and they make it look good every single yeah. time. And Definitely. when was the last time 148 had swerve? Was it? But like, was it uh, 2008? Eight? I don't know. I don't know, but either way, they came in. They had an ace drive a couple times, I remember, but uh, maybe that was. I don't know. Yeah. Either way, they they had a swerve drive that looked like it was like something they had last season or in the off season. Yeah. Like mm -hmm. it it did not look like it was a new kind of drive system yeah. for that team. So I was super impressed. I was so excited for 148 because I feel like they've been good and good the last few years, but like. This year, they were really good. Like, they were back to being, like, insane 148. Like, they're the reason why, like, an alliance would be performing super well, not, like, in addition to, like, an already really good alliance. Like, 148 was was on their way to, to really kicking some major butt this season. So hopefully we see them later on in off seasons. I'm sure, like, between try and hopefully, fingers crossed, IRI, um, and Chessie Champs will see them on the field a lot more because I was, I loved watching that robot, um, and I want to see more of it. Uh, I yeah. just want to comment, maybe disagree just a little bit, like t with you, Christine. Like to me, I thought 148 last year. I thought, especially once they got to the Robling division, was extremely dominant. It was a little bit um, weaker division that they had, um, and so I, I think you know, based on that, looking what they went through, that you know they didn't have a, a great chance to go deep in the in the championships that way, but. Uh, I don't know. I, th I think 148 the last few years ha has really stepped up uh, to to the truly elite level where they're there. I mean, they won the Houston championship as well, too, in, in uh, 2018. And you could uh, um, tie that in uh, with uh, 254, no doubt, for something like that. But mm. uh, I mean, but to me, I, I don't know. I think they've had that elite status for a while. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, obviously. But I think that this year they were just like beyond what we've the seen. Elite before. elite. All right. <laughs> Well, I mean, they came out to their first event this year just really owning the field, where I feel yeah, like they, that's true. like the last years, they hadn't necessarily hit their stride at their first event. That, that's that's a fair assessment. So, yeah. Cool deal. So, the top 25 slash top 40 for 2020. Um, kind of hurts to do it, but uh, here we are in mid-March, and that's the way it is. So For now. <laughs> for now. For now. Yeah. <laughs> we'll see what happens. Shrug emoji. Now. Yeah, right. <laughs> All right, so that does it, Tyler. I think we have some more stuff to give away. Yeah, let's go ahead and give away the Annie Mark 775 Redline Motor. Uh, just a quick note real quick. Um, you know, I've heard back from a couple suppliers so far, not everybody. Uh, just keep in mind with all the stuff going around that shipments, there is a decent chance they're going to be delayed. If they're not, be happy that they're coming right away. But also keep in mind that we're all dealing with this. We're all impacted by it. Uh, so please be patient with that. Um, I always tell people, if you don't get something in six weeks, reach out to me and I'll start bugging the suppliers. But most suppliers have been pretty good about getting it out quicker. But during this time, you know, just realize delays, delays are going to happen uh, potentially with a lot of these as well. So uh, thanks again to Annie Mark for that. Uh, Redline-100 um, was the uh, 
keyword for it in the winner is going to be necro creature congratulations hey. necro creature we had a, a lot of subscribers win today it doesn't always happen but subscribers are taking it today and necro creature winning the uh 775 congratulations for that and uh he's just happy in chat apparently oh my god he says <laughs> and thank you We're, to nick jr for keeping uh keeping track of our top 25 yeah thanks nick jr yeah. i appreciate that top 40 excuse me all right, so uh, with that said, guys, uh, for let's talk about what's to come ahead real quick. Uh, we're not stopping after today. We're still here creating great content for you. Uh, so next week, if you, if you weren't watching the region recaps, our region recaps are going to be pivoting a little bit. And instead of covering events, they're going to be bringing on guest uh, teams to come out and talk about their robot of either what was or what could have been for things. So uh, half the events are going to go one week, and the other half's going to go in one week. We're going to alternate between... Uh, regions that would have went to Detroit Championships will run three of those. And then the week after, regions that would have went to Houston Championships, which will run four of those. I think I said that right. It could be vice versa. Uh, so make sure you're checking our Discord for that. Uh, FTC, we're still continuing content for, including uh, there will be an FTC reveal night coming up in April, uh, which we will also be on the Twitch front page for. So very excited for that if you're part of FTC. Uh, get your reveal videos uh, going for that. Uh, FTC is a little bit easier to do since you can kind of keep the robot at home, I think, and shoot video with it a little bit more than maybe frc robots uh and then we're going to be going back into our uh off-season rotation of shows on tuesday so lots of great content coming still we still have about two dozen behind the bumpers we need to release so if your team was filmed please be patient we're getting to it uh there's lots of stuff going on lots of content uh we're also going to be doing an frc uh simulator we're working with the uh people who uh, uh have actually built the frc sim as well as somebody else we will be announcing that soon uh where we're going to have a full structured tournament that you can play in on april 4th uh so if you're interested in that day, it'll be April 4th in the evening. Uh, we're very excited for that. We think we're going to get a lot of interest for that. Uh, and if you haven't downloaded the FRC Sim yet, go look it up. Uh, it's actually under ftcsim.org off the top of my head. Uh, but we'd love to have you involved with that as well. Uh, so uh, before we just leave off, any any final things to say from any of our crew here? Christine? Um, I don't know. I'm curious to see what else happens in the next few months. I hope everybody is like actually... Um, staying healthy, obviously, washing your hands and stuff, but checking in on everybody else, like on your team and in the first community to see what you can do to kind of support them through this time. Because it sucks for everybody, but mm -hmm. I think as a community, we'll definitely get through it. And there'll be something pretty awesome and exciting on the other end. But um, I'm sure there's going to be some really exciting stuff coming from teams all over the place with all this downtime and being stuck at home with our laptops and <laughs> not a whole lot to do. So, yeah. That's a good point, Christine, right? A whole bunch of first people stuck at home uh, with, you know, not access to robot. I, I, we might see some cool things come out from the first community <laughs> coming up here. That might mm -hmm. be pretty interesting. But, yeah, just to echo you, yeah, reach out to those. I hope you guys are all um, safe and healthy as well. Um, you know, reach out to those if you're in need. And I know the first community is – first community, fun community is just an awesome place. So don't be afraid to, you know, cross those cross those uh, those borders to get there. So. Yeah, and we're going to be here, try to keep, you know, try to keep the, the interest going and just be a place that we can kind of keep um, hanging out and keep everyone's mind off kind of everything else. And thanks to everyone that participated in the voting. I just am still blown away by the number of votes that we had uh, over yeah. the course of the year. So um, thanks, everyone, for that. I, I do just want to make one quick PSA, uh, guys. We have been pretty inundated with requests to do things. I know a lot of people are very excited, uh, you know, to get stuff going right away, to not lose that motivation. Uh, so we're going to be probably a little bit delayed to get back to you for two reasons. One, we need to get our stuff together uh, as we go through. And two, we need to make sure you're actually honestly willing to follow through. A lot of people come up with great ideas, and then that kind of fizzles after a few days. So, uh, you know, if you have something, please, you know, reach out to us. Just being honest here, that's just kind of the way it works is that you start to realize how, how much an incredible amount of work uh some of the stuff that, that we do and that you might have in mind for that stuff too so we, we're here to help as much as we can uh but just be patient with us uh, and there is you know there's probably gonna be a chance we need to say you know pass or no or something like that just because we have so much coming in and we all are, are at least currently still uh you know working full-time jobs and that sort of thing as well so we all need to you know kind of weigh where our life is right now we'll do the best we can for fun real quick want to give shout outs to people who have uh Helped us since our last stream. We didn't read off yesterday as well, too. Uh, so Nick Lass with uh, 21 months of support. Uh, CrowdJ011, uh, four months of support. Uh, hey, it's Leo. Uh, give out a whole bunch of subs throughout this whole month. Thank you so much, Hey, it's Leo. Really do appreciate that. Uh, Techniac uh, with the Prime sub. 
uh, it's a little even more on there. Uh, Asian Man Steve with the Prime sub uh, on there. Uh, Wilson coming in with the uh, sus- Tier 1 subscription. Thank you so much for that. Cobalt with the Prime sub. Uh, Winnie the PB with the Prime sub on there. Deb Boy with three months of support. PJ the Ref, 28 months of support. Uh, e. Connell King, 865, 14 months support. Skyhawk coming in with some bits uh, as well, too. A bunch of people coming in with uh, little bits here and there, and every little bit helps. Thank you so much. Uh, Eli SD, 72. Uh, comes in uh, with a comment saying uh, record short season for eighty seventy seven. We did get a blue banner in September. Uh, hope the hope we keep the team together next year. Hope so as well too, man. So uh, TFM one ten with a prime sub and Mathis forty one thirty uh, with some bits. Thanks a lot, Nick Junior for that. Mon Curry with four months of support. Evan S twenty four ten nine months of support. Skyhawk coming in three hundred bits. Thank you for that. Red leader three four two gifting another sub. Red leader uh, hugely stepping up as well too. Brando one twenty five thirty three months of support. Shelby A sixteen nineteen bits cheering for team sixteen nineteen uh, on the top twenty five. Thank you so much, Shelby for that uh for all those bits as well too uh and then uh rounding out red leader 342 with 148 bits for 148 necro creature with 80 bits uh if we miss anybody uh sorry about that but thank you so much for your support to keep loud live and independent uh, don't forget to join our Discord. We now have over 2,700 people in our Discord at discord.gg forward slash first updates now. Find us on all of our socials under at first updates now or at fun FTC or on Facebook as well, too, if you're interested at, uh, at uh, fun Latum uh, for our show in Spanish. Uh, so on behalf of myself, Christine, Mike, Justin, everybody uh, who helps make fun content possible, thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, guys, a, a short season we'll be back with more stuff for you though so thank you so much for that we hope to see you next time on first updates now talk to you then everybody good night bye guys thanks for watching if you want more fun content be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos you can also directly help support fun by visiting our patreon at patreon.com forward slash first updates now or by subscribing at twitch.tv forward slash first updates now Thanks to all of our co-executive producers on Patreon and Tier 2 Plus subscribers on Twitch, keeping fun loud, live, and independent.